Yo, 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 my friends! Whoop. Welcome back to another video. Quite a big entry. <laughs> Today I'll be talking about levels of manifestation. The levels of awareness within manifestation would be more precise. I recognize four main levels. The victim, the choosing or the chooser, the manifesting or manifestor, and creating the creator. Very simple. Straight off, I just want to say that you could be on many levels uh, in different aspects of life. So, of course, if you're a creator, you are a creator. And usually, you're, once you realize that you're a creator, you create in every aspect of life. But the other three levels, manifesting, choosing, victim, you can be in different aspects of life on different stages. So, victim is the first stage. So, you're giving your power away, and that's it. And you have no control over what happens. So, for example, to give you an example of different levels where they could be, you could be a victim with your parents. Every time you uh, talk to your parents, you give them the power to choose for you. They tell you what to do in life. You know, and so there you're a victim. And on another level, you could be choosing for your health. You could be choosing the more healthy option of food that you eat, or you could be choosing to exercise in order to better your physique. And then you could be manifesting your dream job. You, you realize that your choices have impact and you can choose in, within the future to have a better job than you have right now. That's manifestation. But I'll go into detail with each one, either in this video or separately. We'll see how time flows. <laughs> Gotta unfold yourself with an infinity the right way. Of course, every way is the right way, my friend. So, it'd be nice if you saw my face. Victim. Level one, my friend. The beginning stages of your journey as the creator. Everything and everyone has power over you. And you cannot do anything. The politicians, the money, the parents, your spouse, your, uh, I don't know, your dog. <laughs> they all have power over you and they're telling you what to do and you always obey and you say that you cannot do this and you cannot do that because of this, this and this and that. And then you always find excuses as to why everything is impossible. And everything is always impossible and you cannot do anything and it's every and at this point you usually look for scapegoats. Be very aware of that, my friend. You're looking for scapegoats saying that it is his fault. It is the politicians, it is the guy in the gym, it is the bully in the school, it is because of the distractions in the past, it is the fear of the future, it is whatever it may be. You're stopping yourself from doing the things that you want because of some fears, because of whatever. You're giving away your power to everything and everyone. And you perceive yourself as a victim. Uh, you're s and usually when you're a victim, then, then there is someone who is doing the um, unspeakable acts of injustice to you, let's just call it. <laughs> And so, yes, they are very real to you at the present moment, but you just gotta realize and say, no. Just say no. You don't need to. You choose to. You don't should. You choose to. At the very first level, you just become aware of the fact that you don't need to be anybody. You don't should be anybody. You could be someone, of course, but you are yourself, my friend, and you're choosing to be yourself within the present moment, whatever that may be. If you're out on the streets drinking, that is who you are. Perfect. If you're a pope, that is perfect. If you're a policeman, that is perfect. 
If you're living in a hut, that is perfect. If you're living in a mansion, that is perfect. If you sleep all day, that is perfect. You are choosing to do that. You're not shooting yourself to do it. You don't must do it. And the more you start to choose, the more you're going to start shifting away from the space of being a victim and you start to empower yourself, so to speak. Where you're going to recognize the choices that are available to you. And you're going to be choosing and choosing and choosing and you're going to choose everything. So the good practice to get out of your victimhood mentality is you start to choose. And the more you choose, the more aware you become of the choices that you have. And eventually you're going to become aware of the choices that are outside of the choices that are in front of you. So, you start to choose to brush your teeth. You choose to eat breakfast. You choose to drink water. You choose to exercise. You choose to meditate. You choose to journal. You choose to go for a walk. You choose to put on your shoes. You choose to fill out the documents. You choose to pay your bills. You're choosing all of that. The more you go into the idea that you must, that you should, the more you go into the victimhood mentality. And of course, certain actions have certain consequences within the physical world. Most of the time, completely, completely different than the ones you think they will have. And you'll see that you don't must pay your bill for the house. You choose to pay the bill for the house because you are choosing to live in that house for a little bit longer. You don't have to pay the electricity bill you are choosing to pay the electricity bill because you are choosing to have electricity you see it's, it's a choice to have that and you're choosing to do that because you can choose to just walk out and whatever happens happens but you can choose to just walk out leave the house behind and never come back to it you know and there are some cases of people that i know of that did that <laughs> They just they went so much into their victim mentality that eventually they couldn't bear it anymore and they just went, No, enough is enough. I just I walk out, they say. I'm leaving behind this victim and I choose to go in a different way. And they just left they went to such an extreme that they had to leave everything in order to start fresh. What happened? I don't know. They cut contact, of course, because they just left. But be aware of the choices, my friend, that you have. Because they have power. They have great, great power. And by, the more you recognize the choices that are in your vicinity, the more power you will have and the more you're going to shift away from the space of victim. That's the first step. And that will be it for the video. Looks like we're going to have a few parts. I'm very exciting for that. excited for that. I bless you, my friend. I shall see you in the next one. Have an amazing day and enjoy life. <laughs> see ya.